If you want to take one shape and cut out the other shape, you can use something called bully. So over here, let's take some shape right here. So I'm going to go over here uh, and then let me drag in something like a cube. So this is going to be my first shape as you can see right there. Let me grabbing another shape over here like a spear, just like this. So what I want to do is I want to cut out uh, the shape over here. So I want to cut out uh, this cube right here by using the spear using the bully option. So in order to do that, I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to bring in the blue bully. So it's located uh, right over here. So let me just go over here and then go over to uh, the control. And over here, you can see that there's bully right here. So let me just bring that in. So over here, there's the bully. So I'm going to drag in the cube over here on the bully and I'm, I'm going to go and drag in the spear as well. And you can see that the cube disappears. The cube is still there. It's taking the, cu the spear. Um, it's taking the cube as the cutter object um, to the spear. So spear is going to be cut out. So I'm going to go to the cube and if I were to drag this in, as you can see, it cuts out the spear onto the shape of this, um, uh, this, this cube, as you can see. But if I were to reverse it out, so let's bring in the cube upwards and bring in the spear downwards. So let me, let me just bring this out just like that. On, on the bully, I'm going to drag in the cube and the spear as you can see so i'm just going to replace the size right here and you'll be able to see that the exact opposite happens so there's the spear as you can see and i can move around and it cuts out a hole onto the shape right here so let's say you want to uh, cut out multiple things what you can do is you can right click and convert this into an object so i'm going to convert the um, state to object right here so that the, so that there's another object right here and what you can do is you can further cut out things so i'm going to go over here and then let's say i want to um, cut it out with a different shape something like a cylinder for example so now i'm going to take bully again so i'm going to go over here on to uh, bully right here so i'm going to go over here on to bully so let's go over here um, on to the shape it's there, sorry. So it's there over here. So bully is here. Let me drag in the bully, the uh, cutout shape and the cylinder. And you can see that that is what happens. So I can just replace it. And you can see that now the cylinder is cutting out the thing right there. What do you want to create multiple shapes? So let's say I want multiple cylinders. If I were to copy it, you cannot see that it does not work out like this. So I'm going to bring all of these outward, as you can see, uh, these cylinders, and I'm just going to create a duplicate. And now what I can do is I can group out the cylinder onto a null. So I'm going to create a null object and bring all of these cylinders in a null object. And I'm going to drag in that null object under bully. So it actually comes in like a group right here. So I'm going to go over here and drag it out under bully, just like that. So null is on the top. I'm going to drag this up and you can see that the opposite happens. So all the groups, as you can see, is cutting out. So I can go over here and you can see that it really cuts out the shape as per what you want. So I can go over here and convert this uh, state to object as well. And you get a separate object out of it here. So you can do pretty much anything right here. So you can cut out and come up with cool uh, shapes right here so that you can uh, just cut out the things and get the details that you want in a reverse order. So that is how you use the bully option inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.